Hello all, in this session we will be going through what site investigation means and purpose of subsurface exploration. Site investigation is familiarly also called as subsurface exploration. Any structure relay on subsurface. This subsurface has natural soil rock deposits in layers. Determining the layer status and their physical properties is generally referred to as site investigation. Now coming for what is the purpose of subsurface investigation? Why do we require this investigation? These are the following points. We will be going one by one in detail. Firstly, the site investigation is necessary to find out the geological conditions of soils and rocks. This is your subsurface. When we go for the boring systems, the number of strata we will be observing. This strata will find out the geological conditions. These geological conditions are known as the batholiths, sills, dikes, lacoliths. This all comes under the existing geological conditions. If such geological conditions are observed while investigation, then the precautionary measures are to be taken down. The major geological conditions will be of fault stone. If we are observing the faults, then the site will be discarded or some of the precautions will be taken. To know about this conditions, the site investigation is necessary. Under the sea, we will be having a number of bedding planes. This bedding planes occur with respect to time. Within this seabed, we will be having number of faults, joints, cracks and etc. So, when the vibration happens, if the structure is built on it, then this bedding place goes with the deformation and the structure which is withstanding on this seabed collapses. The number of cases have been observed in the petroleum jackets and all refineries where we are excluding the petrol. This all comes under the geological conditions. Now coming for this site investigation establish the groundwater levels and determine the properties of the water. Once we go with the boring systems, we will get to know what is the level, at what depth the water table is situated and the aquifers too. Now due to this, if the structure is built on the subsurface, on the surface. Now the stress, the stress distribution comes under within this depth itself. Then the water table is very hazardous for. Then the water table creates a lot of complex conditions. So we have to check before the construction that the where does the water can water table is inter, intersecting, at what depth, and collecting the water. We can find out the properties of the water, what is the mineral composition and what level does it interacts with the soil structures. Nextly, while performing the site investigation, the type and the depth of the foundation for the proposed structure has to be decided. By the site investigation, we will get to know that the soil or a rock has the capacity to bear the low structural load of so and so. On that basis, we can go for choosing of shallow foundation or a deep foundations. The next objective is to determine the bearing capacity of the soil. The bearing capacity of the soil is can be calculated by laboratory test and the field test. This is not a lighting method to find out the bearing capacity. Firstly, the shear strength parameters has to be known, the C and phi. Phi is the angle of shearing resistance and C is the cohesion. Depends on these two parameters, we can find out the bearing capacity of the soil by the equations of Skimtons, Tersgis and etc. Another we will be having the field test. On, ba on basis of the practice, we can find out the bearing capacity and also the number of correlations are also available to find out the bearing capacity of the soils. By going for the site investigation, we can estimate the probable maximum and differential settlements. Collecting the soil sample while boring systems and taking into the laboratory and the experiments will be conducted. To find out the settlements, it might be with the elastic or the consolidated settlement, we will be moving for the consolidation test, familiarly known as the odiometer test. The site investigation also 
predict the lateral earth pressure against the retaining walls and abutments. This retaining wall has been designed in such a way that it should withstand the lateral earth pressure coming from this hill rock. How to find out the lateral earth pressure of this hill rock is by the site investigation itself. Otherwise, the failure happens. The purpose of the subsurface investigation are lot more. If subsurface investigations are not cultivated or improper practice of investigation leads to the number of failures. This is your retaining wall failure. This is your subgrade failures. This is differential settlements. This is because the fault present beneath the foundation. This is because of the varying strata. This is because of the consolidation when the water interacts with the soil structure. You got an idea of why subsurface exploration is necessary. With the next session, we will get to know the planning, the program for subsurface exploration. Thank you.